Hello, how's it going? I'm back in Fremantle. Um, just about to do a bunch of random shit that's irrelevant. Um, I'm in the caravan again, surprisingly. There's been a slight upgrade of the front of this tiny, you can see bricks. Bricks are in the front. We'll go look at that maybe in a minute. What's the update? It turns out I do not need a second, almost exactly the same medical, which I guess I already knew, but I booked it just in case anyway, because it was a um, two month wait list. So I've canceled that. Uh, luckily I did buy the package, extra package with my flight, which meant I could change the date for only like 60 bucks, so that was fine. I changed it to the next day. I was only gonna be there one day anyway. So now I'll be there for 12 hours, <laughs> which is like a pretty standard crap stopover, I guess. Um, but I also got to book my, uh, cancel my accommodation. So that's another 150 bucks saved. Also, the medical itself is like $500 or something, so. So that's good, and then I can be here for another day, so it won't be as rushed. Um, what is the update? I didn't really do many videos during my last work swing. The first week was flooded for most of the time. So we're just uh, completely drenched, wet, raining, roads were rained out, truck couldn't come in. I think the actual mine itself was closed for several days, more or less. Um, so yeah, lots of rain. The f village was also very much submerged in, in places, but because we, the beautiful housekeepers, have to go to every single room. Uh, just a lot of being wet socks and pants and everything wet for quite a few days. Anyway, slightly traumatic, but we all survived and the truck did eventually come in and the mine did eventually start mining again. So, hmm, it's almost as if it never happened. However, it did mean that the shutdown was delayed. For those of you who aren't in mining, I won't explain, but there is like every few months a shutdown to update and fix whatever equipment needs fixing in certain sections and because of the flight delays road closures uh that did not happen so that was kind of good because we overstaffed ourselves to um accommodate the extra three or four hundred people that normally come in to do that and then they weren't there so we just had <laughs> quite a lot of staff but there was extra work involved with the fact that, you know, that, uh, floods. And no truck. Anyway, so, um, all's well that ends well. And they rescheduled it for the week after my last day. So I don't have to be there. <laughs> Which I'm quite happy for. But I did, honestly come back partially because I didn't want them to be understaffed during shutdown. It is the worst. Especially new staff that don't know anything. <laughs> so I didn't want to be that person. But I can't do anything about the rain and the thunder, you know? Um, anyway, so that's all work boring stuff. Uh, I did decide to finally do the crew pacific course i was going to do the eight day course but i also got a five day internship live aboard i think it's four nights but five days total because you leave early on the first day and arrive late on the last day if that makes sense yeah i believe so and it's a 
diving vessel. I can't remember what, uh, I think it's catamaran, catamaran, which is not my fave, but you, can, you know, beggars can't be choosers. The good thing is it's a diving vessel. There will be diving throughout the trip, hopefully weather dependent, of course. And it will be in and around the Great Barrier Reef. Um, I did go there over a year ago and we went to one of those pontoon things. That's usually a quite easy and cheap trip. Uh, I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, but it was it needed to be done, I felt. And um, But I think this will be a better Great Barrier Reef experience because it will be not with 300 people who don't know how to swim. Hopefully. No, I believe that there will be 10 passengers and three other crew members. I am not getting paid, but I am hoping to get a reference letter out of it that it would be more valuable than money at this point. I also have to get my reference letter for my current job and I need to start printing off some documents because there's a lot of paperwork. More endless paperwork. I'm pretty sure these Maritimes people were the original lovers of paperwork because they like to do it a lot more than normal people like a, like, like an absurd amount um, so yeah there's a lot of that that's happening um, that thing that cancelled leaving a day later, arriving in Cairns. I think I have a few days before the five day boat trip thing, so I can kind of settle in and get my bearings. And then the I decided to do the deckhand course, which is five days. And, um, so yeah, that's the plan. I don't have my flight out of Australia yet. The course ends on the 2nd of May and I have a uh, bed booked until the 5th of May currently. So if I stay longer, I'm gonna have to either extend that or find somewhere else to stay. I decided to book into a four room dormitory at a hostel which is what it is a uh, female only room only four beds so hopefully it'll be okay I'm pretty sure there's a pool so there's that and I'm hoping I won't be there most of the day I'll just be sleeping there plus I'll be unemployed at that point and spending a lot of money on other things still this course included is like two and a half grand for the five days. So hopefully that's worth it. I really didn't mull that one over, uh, but it also includes like recruitment. So hopefully you'll find me a job. Yeah. And what else was I going to mention? I don't remember. Yeah, there's a lot of me leaving the country paperwork that also needs to be done, so it's all real boring, but it takes forever and it just never ends. And then you need paperwork just to do the paperwork, so it's one of those. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the, that. Um, also tomorrow, I think the plan is we've got a bunch of mulch in the front. I'm gonna re-mulch this path. And I think down here where I just was, all that, um, sort of middly area and I don't think there's been really any changes but I am in the caravan as I said this is the second time I've done two weeks off in a row in the caravan and that is my mess everywhere is a mess oh, oh and I just sent some stuff to Canada mom so um it's mostly just my old calendars, like these things. Mm -hmm. So 
So, yeah, I sent that, and also I think there was a few bank cards in there that I don't use, but do want to keep, sort of thing. And possibly my expired Canadian driver's license, because maybe that will help me get it again later, but maybe I don't need to, I don't know. I don't know why I'm carrying it around, so I'm just trying to get rid of things that I don't need, because bag only fits so many things and boat only fits so many bags and etc. Um, so because we're like a full house there is a pop-up room just here. You can see that but mm -hmm. I think that is why I was trying to say I could have stayed somewhere else this week. <laughs> but it was insisted that there was plenty of room. I was like, okay. I could have literally not. Anyway. It is what it is. I think that this is going to be the situation again when I come back. On my way out, I think I might just offer to do that pop-up room if necessary. Oh, look who it is, it's Luli. Oh, is your little kitty boo boo? Oh, we a kitty boo? Hmm? Oh, we a kitty boo? Well, she's so crazy. I want to be your friend, but I'm also a psychopath. Hmm? Pet me, but I might also attack you. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway, so... It's all happening. We're doing it. Um, that's, yeah, this is a long video. I don't know what the point was updating, I guess. Huh? Who are you? Where am I? What are we doing? Is this real? A real simulation? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anymore. Um, yeah, it's all good. It's all going to be good once it's done. I'm so bored of paperwork. Oh my god. Bye bye!